So I'm going to teach you how to transfer music to your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Okay, so first of all, download iTunes. If you're on a PC, download iTunes. It's free from Apple.com. Once you download iTunes, okay, this program's compatible with any Windows computer. Um, you guys have to open it up and connect your iPhone, iPod, or iPod Touch to your computer. And from there, just uh, transfer your music. Okay, it's really easy. So you guys might see this right now. And what I want you guys to click on is My Music. Okay, so you guys might see this right here on the left hand side. Just make sure you're on your music. Just click on my music and then you're going to see your music. So I'm going to go into a file that I have here. I'm going to transfer something over so you guys can see how to transfer music to your uh, iTunes if that's brand new for you. So let me just open that up again. Now I have an mp3 file. I'm going to just drag and drop it right here onto my music. And then we're going to see it. So there's the music that I just imported and um, I'm just gonna close this up for now and then up here on the left hand side you guys will see your iPhone iPad or iPod touch so in this case I have an iPhone connected so I'm just gonna click right there and then you're gonna, so you're gonna see the first thing is your summary so here you're gonna see all your stuff okay um, from there again on the left hand side you guys will see apps music and so on so we're gonna tap on music so again that's on your left hand side right here you guys can see music mu movies and everything so you can sync up anything from here including your photos now whether you have a Mac or PC that depends whether you want to sync up your photos this way or not if you have a Mac don't do it this way if you have a PC this might be the way that you want to you don't have to though okay um so music right now I have synced up my entire music library so that's the first thing that I see here and I see 24 songs you guys probably have thousands of songs so you you're gonna see that right here um, again if you haven't transferred any music onto your iTunes then just drag and drop it like I did you can do it that way you can also sync it up different ways but that's the easiest way for me so that's why I do it that way um, okay so right now we have synced up this check mark right here okay and you guys might see this message Um, so I'm gonna cancel that because I just uncheck this but I don't want to uncheck that so make sure there's a check mark right there and you can put a tap right there on entire music library or you can select so if you click on select you, let's say you don't want your entire music library right there you can select which albums go just by tapping on them okay so just click on those and um, or you can just click on these whichever you want so I, in this case, I'm going to do it the most simple way, which would be selecting your entire music library, which is 24 songs, and that's it. Um, from there, just down here below, you guys will see Sync. Okay, just click on Sync. It's going to take a second to sync. Now, if it's this is your very first time syncing your iPhone, iPad, or Touch to your iTunes, it might take a while to sync up. But basically, once you're done this, that's it. You have it all synced up, all your music just transferred over. If you have ever transferred music before to your iPhone, iPad, or touch with another iTunes from another computer, then you're gonna have problems because it's this iTunes right now that you're syncing up to will tell you that it's gonna erase whatever you had from before from your other iTunes that you synced up. It's gonna erase that, okay? It o overwrites that and it does that because of copyright issues um, Apple doesn't want you to just go and sync up any music from your friends computer and then your other friends they just want your own music and that's why they do that so just make sure once you sync up with one computer one iTunes just have those permissions with that iTunes and that's it okay so don't just sync it up with any computer make sure it's the computer that you're always going to be syncing up to or you can just sync it up to another one, sure, but it's going to overwrite that past music that you had from before. Now, if you're syncing up new, new music, make sure you have checked on the music that you had from before. If you, don't, if you don't have your music checked on from before, then that music is going to be erased and other music is going to transfer over. Anyways, that's it for this tutorial. As you can see, it synced up pretty fast and... Um, depending on how many music you're syncing and everything it's gonna take longer okay from here you can also go to movies 
so make sure they're mp4 so if you have, want to sync up any music any movies any episodes anything that's mp4 videos onto your iphone it's the same thing you can just drag and drop them onto your movies and then you can put automatically include all or you can sync up the ones that you want so you can just check on this one for example or this one this one same thing click on apply and that's about it okay so I'm just gonna check those off because I don't want to check those on and because movies take a big space from your iPhone iPad touch um, but it all depends what you guys want to do uh, remember from iTunes you guys can sync up almost anything you can make your own custom tones that's right here so if you want your own custom ringtone you can make one and you can sync it up this way I do have a separate video showing you guys that but that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.